This is my first time ever playing Manor Lords. And when I say first time, I mean I was given the key a few minutes ago and I have just loaded it up. This is going to be a real first impressions. Also, is this the first time we've actually had a name drop from the dev? Slavic Magic? All right, Greg. All right. Now, normally when I play a game, I will turn the music off so I can input my own music in the background to help, you know, form the video. But this music is so gorgeous. And as someone that has been following the development and seeing the move through, not just making the game, but also things behind it, like the sound design and music, I think it's definitely worth me keeping on. So with a new game, we have three options. The Robber Baron, an infamous knight is residing in a castle up north. Build up your strength and when ready, lay a claim to his lands and defeat him in battle. Or we have Realm Conquest. Due to a tangled history, there are multiple claimants to these disputed lands. Use economy, diplomacy and warfare to your advantage to become a sole ruler. But the only one we have available in this demo is Rise to Prosperity. You are the first lords to settle in these lands. Start from nothing and build a prosperous medieval village. I'm assuming this one is more of a sandbox mode. And of course, these things are moving up through some vague storylines and linear things that the developers want to tell. Now you can upload and input your own custom coat of arms, but I haven't set all that up yet. So we'll get onto that in the other videos. So it looks like we can have our basic here. We can have a full thing. We'll have a cool little logo here. Even I'm going to put the flower on as someone that was born in Yorkshire. I think that's kind of needed. Okay, so we want the blue background. There we go. A little bit of green. Okay, we can actually... Oh, Sir Greg. Sir Resonant. Beautiful have a look at our portrait who do you want to look like i think i think this lad he looks like a badass and of course as this is a demo and more of the sandbox mode you can start with different supplies you can double your supplies or you can have your standard with approval you can have demanding or balanced and of course difficult with weather conditions and things like that and here we are we are actually playing mana lords it has been such a long time coming and i think so many people are incredibly excited for this. So I'm currently getting 128 FPS in the top left. You probably can't see that because it's the Steam overlay and OBS doesn't tend to record that. However, I'm getting 128, 134. When I zoom in here, I'm getting 106, 98, 100. So around 100 FPS at minimum. Obviously, that will change as we build things up. But this is playing at ultra settings in 4K with DLSS on the highest quality setting. So let's have a look at the world. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There was a tiny bit of lag as you go to that, but isn't that incredible? You can go from wherever my town, goddamn, is. There we go. We can go from my town. We can zoom all the way in to see my people. By the way, everybody. <laughs> everybody has their own stuff and their names. And uh, you can change every villager's names, by the way. We'll get into that in a little bit. So you can zoom all the way out. You can start to see the region that you're in. So I'm assuming this is our region here. And these are some more resources that we can move into. And then here are the larger regions. So we can have a look over here. We can see what trade they've got. Oh, we can trade with them. Sorry, you can claim influence. Okay. Now, I quickly will put in that this demo is the earliest build that is playable to the public. It is mostly just the city building aspect. There is no warfare or fighting. So if you're coming into it looking for the total war style fighting aspect, that's not in here right now. But we have a new message. There is a fire at the heart of every settlement, a bastion of safety, warmth, and light against the darkness of the world. As the toil begins, you can almost imagine you hear the ring of anvils. So we have to construct a granary, a logging camp, a forager hut, and a storehouse. The basic starting things, and it looks like we've got 365 days to do so. It's going to be interesting to see how long a year is within this game. The region view shows you which regions are under the control. You can claim other regions if you gain enough influence. Claims can be refuted, or if a war is declared, blocked by the presence of an enemy army. Right, okay. So down in the bottom, we've got add removal of roads. Some workers use handcarts to transport goods up to 10 at once. To enable handcart transportation, road points from both buildings have to be connected by the network. We have logging camp, woodcutters camp, foresters hut. We also have hunting camps and a foragers hut here. This UI is incredibly satisfying. So we need a logging camp. Workers fell nearby trees. So I'm assuming we have to put this up in a forest somewhere. Might be quite good. Maybe if we pop it on top of the hill here. Or we could put it right deep in the forest. Let's put it right deep in the forest. Unassigned peasants automatically work in construction. If there's nothing to construct, they will help work in buildings. 
enable idle builders is switched on okay got it so what do we have up here we have our resources we have our unassigned families and things like that so can we assign oh we can zoom in and look at people brilliant we can see our assigned families we don't have anyone assigned to doing particular work right now i'm assuming we'll find a way to do that but are you guys just going to ah okay oh wow so they've picked up logs and they're now taking it with the oxen <laughs> Isn't this goddamn beautiful? Look at that. Oh my. So much detail and effort has been put into this. And there were also points in the development where other games started to come out. Whether it was Viking City Builder who sort of copied the trailer for Manlords and people sort of hopped on the back of the hype of this game. And it made people wonder how legit this game was. And to be fair, at some point even I questioned is this really going to live up to the hype but so far you can already tell so much love has been put into this thing so much love okay so the logging camp is for timber and the woodcutters is for firewood so let's also place this pretty nearby can we rotate so place building is left click rotate is by holding right click oh you hold left click and then you move the mouse to rotate and then i'm assuming if you you let go you build it but we don't want to build it there so let's pop it here. Let's rotate it there. Oh, no. No, it won't click if you just... There we go. We have to actually fully click. So let's have a look at the whole building mechanics. So this is now going up here. That I guess they're doing separate parts. We'll have to put a road between these two areas. We've got the oxen carrying stuff. Is the, wait, does the oxen have a name? I'm assuming the guy's called Thomas and not the ox. <laughs> Although that would be goddamn incredible. Now, of course, as any game, you can fast forward if you need to. So let's do such a thing. Time lapses in this could be goddamn beautiful. You can now select this building and add or remove workers. Got it. Okay, so this is the UI that we've seen in some of the trailers. So we can relocate the building, we can demolish it, we can pin this window, so I'm assuming it will just stay there now even if we click off the building. Of course, you can close it. It's currently disconnected from the road network and we can set a work area. And currently, it's an unlimited work area. Okay, so we can set the work area to a specific point but we'll leave it on unlimited for now. I'm assuming like Ostriv, it's just going to select someone to go and work there. Let's get a couple guys working at this camp. Okay, if we click on people, we can see who's working there. Something I kind of would like to see is a bit like Ostriv when it does this, instead of just saying, oh, some people are working there, maybe the faces of the people show up in a little icon instead of having to click into a separate tab. That feels a little bit unnecessary, but hey ho, that's just a tiny little nitpick, which, you know, I might be doing a little bit off, but I'm enjoying myself so far. So where's the other camp? Is it hidden in the tree somewhere? Oh my word, look at this. Okay, that's not fully built. The other thing we need, we've got the logging camp, we need a granary and a storehouse. Granary and store. I've got a forages. Okay, we can look here. Mining. Don't need that. Storage. Granary and storehouse. So the storehouse provided storage space for generic goods to shield them from weather damage, which I'm assuming is a factor. And the granary stores up to 500 food and helps supply the food stores later. So let's place that. We'll put the storehouse here. Let's just connect all these up for now. We might as well. Oh, wow. So it, it just goes in like that. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Now, something I'm interested to see is how much the dynamic road building is because it was mentioned that it, there will be a feature within Manor Lords that as people walk over certain grounds more and more, that it will wear out the grass. Now, that quite possibly might not have been added in. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's happening just yet, but who knows, who knows? Let's give it some time. But that is a feature that should be in the game eventually. But we need to connect this up. Oh, what I do like is that it's kind of given the indication that it knows something's over there. So it's saying you should build a road going that way. I do quite like that. And this is also doing a, a similar thing here. So if we can build that up, is it expensive to build roads or is it free? It doesn't look like it's tearing down any of my resources. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Actually, I think it's just built this here because it knows there's going to be a storehouse here. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit of pop in there. Hey, ho. So this is our current supply depot, a little bit like Banished, where it just sort of sits there, but it can get damaged by said weather. Currently, everyone's a bit homeless. I, I don't think that's something that needs to be happening. Village life. So we've got a burgage plot, provides living space for one family, can be upgraded, and has places for extensions. We also have wells, have a market area, we have stalls here that we can put down, taverns, and a church. 
here we have our farming stuff brilliant it doesn't look like some of these have been fully added in yet nope they don't have any construction cost these ones so i'm assuming they've not completely been added in actually this is just a pasture so it shouldn't it just doesn't have the picture and this has a work in progress picture for the communal oven we next have our smithing stuff we have our trade and we have our administration and military but it's coming to night time now it hasn't told me to build houses for anyone but i'm assuming that's probably quite important but we're gonna fast forward anyway go on lads pick up that there we go we only have one log left come on boys you're better than this so someone needs to work here so you guys getting logs maybe you have zero logs on you as you're cutting some stuff down currently it doesn't look like they actually go to trees and cut them down it looks like they just cut randomly which is absolutely fine as mentioned this is very very early version the earliest version that the public have been able to get their hands on this guy is chopping up firewood oh there we go look at that and he puts oh wow that is beautiful that is really beautiful where's he run off to he's somewhere in here oh so he is actually cutting up trees properly but it looks like it doesn't quite render them on his back Oh, Slavic magic is going to hate me for pointing <laughs> all these little nitpicky things out. Okay, so we're getting the granary up and running. That's beautiful. There isn't a cinematic mode, and I'm very sad. But if you click exit, escape, to go into the menu, it just freeze frames here. That looks so nice. <laughs> so this lad's now... Oh, my word. He's chopping the bark off here to make this work a bit nicer. And he's then hammering this stuff in. Beautiful work, lads. Let's get this up, though. Let's get this running. Okay, final thing is about to go up here. Oh, wait, we need a forager's hut. Never mind, I am a fool. Oh, that's Forester. Good job I checked that. Forager. Uh, so it says there's some berries over here. Assuming these are all berry bushes. So we're going to put our forager's hut. Not enough resources. Okay, we need logs. Lads, are you working on the logs? Maybe if I set a work area, that might help them. Okay, they're now heading over to this place to chop down some trees. Okay, there is actually... <gasps> okay, there's full animations and... Okay. Okay, I think you do have to set a work area. That that definitely helps. That That's definitely helped, I think. So now are we getting some logs, lads? I mean, there's... What's this lad doing? Okay, he's chopping down the tree that he's just felled. Go on, you can break through it, boy. You can break through it. <laughs> Okay, the oxen has come. He's picked up the log. He's taken the log. I'm assuming he's taken it to storage. He's taken the log. We've got logs. We've got logs. It is working. We need more oxen. You guys are good. You guys are real good. Does that just mean it's low? Number of months before supplies run out. Okay, we do have two logs. Okay, great. We can build this bloody thing. But I've also noticed there's a beddy bush around here. So we can, we can build here and expand this way. And then build a road point there to there there so there so you're all connected to the old network now look how gorgeous this thing looks and the rain's coming down and puddles are starting to form oh my word it's all reflections in there the ox is using the path because it makes him faster look at that wow look at the mountains in the background as well i wonder how far we can actually go i'm assuming just to sort of this line yeah just to this line I don't know how much that's going to expand. I think what this is, is this is this is our region, but we can go out here. So this is someone else's region. Okay, I'm just like at the edge of the map. So this is actually going to go pretty far around here. Right, we now have a forager's hut and we've set them to go and look at those berries over there to try and pick them off said bushes. Uh, I accidentally upgraded to a large granary. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess we're, we're building a large granary. Not that we have any food to put in it right now, because everybody's going to starve. But hey-ho, it is what it is. So I'm assuming once that's done, then we should be able to have the task to build some houses, potentially. So here's our approval. This is what the villagers think of us. If it hits zero, there's a rebellion, so we have to watch out. It starts at 50% and can go up to 100%, so we kind of want to raise that. But people don't have houses at the moment, so lads, let's, let's get that sorted. The way houses work are a little bit different. You can see if they've got this marker, they have four borders. So now let's say we want to build, let's build our village over here. So we go one, two, three, four, and it says the plot's too small. God damn it. Well, this is an interesting way of building houses. I'm not entirely sure how we're doing this. Your supplies are dry and secure. Look at Mr. Forager with his bucket. Go on, lad. Do that foraging, my boy. Do that foraging. 
So far, even though this is a very early demo, I haven't really run into many limitations that you'd expect from any other city builder. At the moment, this just feels like the amount of content that most of the city builders just with a lot more attention and love and detail in it. Of course, there are stuff that we haven't got. Oh, shit. Hello. Hello, mate. Do you not want to? I guess we'd have a training post, but how are you? Are you? Of course, there are other things that are locked behind development at the moment. They've not come out like the full battle systems, and they look incredible. And of course, full diplomacy and things like that, I'm yet to fully look into and discover. But at the moment, even though this is a very early demo build, there's still, it looks like, a decent amount of content to really get stuck into. Oh, look at them build the house. This is really nice. They build like bits of the wall at the same time. This bit hasn't been built, and they build up here. This is really nicely done. Seven months of food and 54 months of fuel. So we should be good for now. It's just about how it Look at this. Up it goes. Building certain bits. And this, of course, is a custom plot. You can give people bigger or smaller houses. Now, there is a minimum size to what you can build them, but still, goddamn beautiful. So we have five peasant families. I'm guessing it does it in families at the moment. So it looks like there's artisan families as well, which I'm assuming is building better and bigger places for them to stay. Now... I think there might be a lot of people that will be like, can't we just make set houses so they all look the same? But I, I don't know. I kind of like the way they're doing this because what this is going to do is make it a bit more realistic. Not everything is going to be exact. Of course, for a small village like this, historically, you're not going to have the most incredible builders in the world that are going to measure everything exactly. I think that kind of adds to the whole immersion in this medieval world having plots that are slightly bigger slightly smaller wonky walls that kind of thing i'm sure there will be or is a way to duplicate certain things if you want to do it that way and like blueprint stuff but i don't know i kind of really enjoy this so maybe we build a different shapes one can we build like a is this going to be too small so that's going to be too small so we can right click to remove there can we go like do a super okay so it has to be four can we do like a super long thin plot no, it's not going to like that. Can we do like a... Let's try a, a house-shaped plot like that. <laughs> this is going to annoy so many people. But I, I want to do some experimenting. I want to see what happens when you do different shaped plots for buildings. I've set this as enable idle laborers. So if anyone doesn't have a job, they can take this as a temporary job. I don't know what working at the storehouse actually entails. But hey-ho, I guess we'll find out eventually. So this is what it's looking like at the moment from this stage we've still got a well to build that's been semi-built the supplies are starting to dwindle here but i'm assuming that's because they've been put into the storehouse yep we've got logs and firewood in there we can see the number but people are still living in these homeless tents i'm assuming it's a little bit similar to austria once we built the houses people will move out of the tents so on and so forth is there still a berry picker in here yes friend you're doing a good job you're doing a fantastic job i'm very proud of you now, firewood, we've got actually quite a good amount. We're going to need more firewood in the future, but I'm going to fire you because I want to put you on construction. Yeah, he's coming over to help construct. We need to get these houses up ASAP because it's going to be winter eventually. It's July. Spring, frequent raining, berry deposits regrow, plowing for quick. Okay, we're now in summer. Uh, crop harvest start in late summer. Then we're going to autumn, end of the harvests. Plowing and sowing crops is recommended for the maximum yield. And then we have winter. Berry deposits vanish. Firewood is required for survival. Sheep shearing forbidden. Chance of getting ill. Peasants are coming to your village. This is great, but watch out for your supplies. Oh, are we having other people join us? I'm assuming what happens is people will join us once we start building houses. But it just said that people are on their way already. Well, I guess we're about to find out, boys. So there's the traveling merchant. He's gone back that way. It's another traveling merchant. He's not following the roads. He's just he's just eyeballing it. <laughs> As the wind Okay, so one family has just joined us. So these are kind of different. Yeah, they are. So this house is different to this house. It's a little bit wonky, the roof. I really like that. They kind of lead on that way. This house is a uh, little... I don't know. This is going to be a rich family that lives here. Let's, can we fill in this gap? Maybe. No, it doesn't like us doing that. It's too small. We'll, we'll find something to put in there. I know I've triggered a lot of people by building like this, but we're experimenting. So we're going to have a... I wonder what the smallest plot... Okay, we can do a little plot like that. 
can we just build straight off yep we can just build straight off it won't it'll make a smaller road because it's not from a big you know industrial point to another industrial point or a big point of interest but it will you can just build roads i'm assuming if we use control and mouse wheel we can change the road curvature oh god <laughs> look at that look at that we can curve it around again we can oh make it really curvy or we can make it really straight we're gonna make it a little bit curvy let's go around here and let's tap in here wow look how awesome that looks that is so nice and dynamic so they've really been going hard at work chopping down these trees good job lads we're actually running low on low on the old wood still though so we'll keep working keep working we need two more plots so we'll have this one up then i'm assuming we'll get uh, another one up pretty soon once that's done so let's actually start plotting out if we have the resources on the right hand side here we can see overlay so if we click none then it will remove everything if we click here we can see the water veins we can see the fertility by fertility and smell smell i'm assuming it smells good here at the moment but it might start to smell bad if we have loads of i don't know animals our final plot can be built we have we have the log for it oh this will split into two housing plots okay i'm absolutely fine with that i wonder what it's going to do here because this is the main entrance for this house is it going to force them to walk through is it going to create a nice little path i guess we're about to find out we're going to build one more house than we actually need but we have we have an abundance of the old logs at the moment and we've got a lot of firewood but we'll get someone back on the firewood making process as soon as we can because if we forget about that it will be a disaster it will actually be terrible we, we can't be doing that look at these lads all building doing their thing welcome to the party settlement level increased reichenfurt yes beautiful beautiful new development point okay nice so i'm assuming you can level up to have full manners and things settlement level level one burger points five okay next level is a medium village we need 10 houses and one church hello what's going on now so there is a woman that has walked past us but she needs a marketplace where our people can acquire food clothing firewood and they'd be happier so we need more houses food store firewood store clothing store i'm assuming actually this isn't housing because they're still peasant families i'm assuming they eventually become burger families burger families like many of these kind of games you can set construction priority buildings with the highest priority are built first so if we want to, we can, you know, put that as number three. If we want that built first, we can put it at zero. If we want to put it, if we've got multiple things being built, of course, the well has now been built. There's a whammon going to the well. You have to do your thing. Go and get that water, hun. There you go. That was easy. Okay, firewood isn't actually going down at the moment, which is interesting. Uh, but it's probably worth giving someone that job back because, you know, jobs are good for people. Jobs are good. Berries. How are we on the old Berries. Do we even have berries? I guess there's crops. No. Oh, we'll just be on genetic food. We've got 46 berries. We've got plenty of berries for now. Our little village coming together. Okay, so it's made like a... Oh, wow. So it's made a little area for people to walk up and down if needs be. They can get around here. They can get around here. That's very nicely done. So I'm assuming, as we saw there, if we do bigger plots, it will split it into multiple, multiple buildings. Yes, but it doesn't like that because I think it's because I've built a road there. However, we can expand. Let's say if we want to do that, this will split it into two long plots. I mean, screw it. We might as well. These are going to be big boy plots, whoever owns these houses. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this looks like. Okay, we also needed food stores, firewood stores, and clothing stores. Alt and click is remove road. Okay, brilliant. So now can we put in a marketplace? Let's go. It's now made a soggy area. <laughs> Brilliant. But I think this just assigns an area that we can then start to put in. Food store. Also, if you want to know exactly what you're looking at without having to click on it, you can hold tab here. You can see certain areas. Market field, storehouse, and so on. I'm sort of spreading them out a bit because I'm assuming I'm going to need multiple food stores and multiple firewood stores. So we're going to have like the food store area, the firewood store area, and so on. Oh, wow. So we actually have plenty of families here that need jobs so let's let's start handing out way more jobs so these are just the ones that have assigned set up market look at his little berries on his table how cute is that oh this is so cute this is so cute i adore this i adore this so much have we outburied everything so they'll grow back 
uh, next next summer term or winter thing whatever so let's let's get these berries for now because we're gonna need more food so you can construct extensions vegetable gardens chicken keeps oh let's give you a vegetable garden why not that might be cute <gasps> oh, i love it so much i'm in love i am so in love so our stalls are going well i mean i'm assuming the guy here <laughs> he's not actually working behind it he's just sort of put his berries there and people are nicking them hey ho that's how economy works isn't it <laughs> i'm pretty sure <laughs> that's how it's supposed to work you should probably put these supplies inside some storage boys so as you're building houses with this new mechanic here if you go like this you can see there's a little simple there's a plus and a house building what this means is as you're building it will tell you with the plus symbol if you're able to have an extension plot so these guys can't have an extension plot their house won't be big enough but if we go like here there's a little plus so we can have an extension plot but for now we're just gonna do two little houses like so oh the snow is coming in it is december the snow is falling i goddamn hope we have enough food but i don't think we do <laughs> look at this beautiful shot our villagers doing their thing through the town being beautiful lads and ladies yeah it would be my assumption that berries have started to run out yep berries are gone so we need to find other ways can we i'm assuming that we can't build in this area supposedly we can last it says we've got a month's worth of food so we might just make it but it's gonna be a rough one it's really gonna be a rough one here's our snowscape though boys here's our snowscape wow everyone might be about to starve but still wow <laughs> what a thing of beauty what a thing of beauty well on that note i'm gonna leave this first video here this has been my first impressions of mana lords so let me know what you think down below but until then i will see you in the next one.